Hey, good morning, Lammy. Good morning. Morning, Mama. How you doing there, Nova? Yeah, you a good sheepy. Yes, you're a good sheepy. You're a good mama. Good mama. Yipper. You're okay, mama. You're okay. Right there, right there. Yeah, you're a good mama. Yipper. Morning, friends. Welcome to Three Generations. I'm here with Nova, the Tunis Columbia mix. <laughs> I don't know if it's Tunis Columbia or Columbia Tunis. I'm not sure which way you're supposed to say it, but anyhow. Um, yes. And her baby lamb is right here in behind. And today I want to band the tail. Um, there's various theories on banding the tails, but... Um, uh, yeah, there, like if you were... This, it's a ewe lamb. And if it was going to, oh, hey, Mama, you can stay down. Yeah. Uh, if it was going to the ethnic market, meaning uh, uh, for uh, other ethnic groups that do celebrations and use lambs as part of that celebration, then you might not want to ban the tail. Um, you might not want to dock. They call it docking tail. Um, this particular you. I don't know if it's going to be a great you or not, but this is one that I will keep for <laughs> on the farm here and uh, see how it does as far as breeding goes. And so you want, at least I want to dock it. Hi there. You want to come see me? No, no. Um, I want to at least dock the tail. Um, be, and what I want to do is cover its back end, you know, not cut it too short. If it was a show lamb, a show sheep, we're going to be be uh, showed at competitions. Uh, they tend to dock them right up against the body. But <laughs> this one will be out in the pasture. This will be running around. And what you want is just enough tail to cover its back end. Um, what happens? The reason you you want to dock. Uh, for at least uh, the sheep you're keeping out in pasture and out in the barn and stuff is The flies it gets manure that bunches up on that tail flies come and lay eggs and then maggots grow and the maggots then um, If you don't catch it in time from what I understand this is not from my experience, but from reading uh, the maggots will end up um, Could actually kill the lamb if you don't catch it in time and they say it's really gross really gross so, um, and you want to do this in the first week, I believe it is. Um, so, I got the, um, like, it's like a rubber band here with my tool I got from Tractor Supply that will just right up the, the tail to the point I want it. And um, then some people, they just let that, it, 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 it like numbs it uh, so it doesn't, hurt the lamb it doesn't hurt it very long and then it's numb and um, uh, then some people will take a knife later and cut it off once the you know a couple three days others just let that die and, and, and eventually the tail just falls off so I'm not sure which one I'm doing but because I'm keeping the lamb I'm gonna dock the tail now the other lamb we had almost two weeks ago now I guess Tuesday it'll be two weeks uh, that one, uh, that one's a male, and I don't plan on keeping him, but I am hoping to maybe find, I'm going to try to keep him as a pure lamb. And a pure lamb, for certain ethnic markets, they want pure, unblemished, they call it, unblemished lamb, uh, where you don't dock the tail, you don't castrate, um, and you don't even, some of them don't even want ear tags put in, they don't want the ears to be blemished. So, uh, some of them go to the extent that they don't want it to have ever been fed by a bottle. Now that one was fed for the first uh, day and a half of its life because it couldn't figure out um, uh, where to find milk. And part of that was my fault. Uh, I needed to do a little shearing of, of the excess wool around the udder area. Uh, that helped, but it was also, um, once it found it, then it seemed to, to, to understand that. But uh, you know, the, the, that was um, um, Stella was a first-time mom, 
Nova is a first time mom. Um, and so, you know, there's some things that they probably could have done to help the situation, but I don't know. So anyhow, let me see if I can get this lamb. And I put some hand sanitizer on the band so that it would kill anything that, yeah, any kind of a, a bacteria or a bug that had been on there. Shouldn't have been, shouldn't be, but anyhow, just in case. Come here, Lammy, come here, come here, come here, Lammy, come, come. Come, come. Well, you can see I don't have it well trained yet, but maybe someday. The other lamb, the dark one, it actually comes to me a lot when I call it. But I, you know, I fed it a lot longer. This one, I, I fed one bottle of colostrum um, because it was late in the day. Hey there. Hey, Lammy. Hi. It was late. It was late in the day. And um, it was late in the day when I found it and I couldn't tell if it was getting milk yet or not. And so I wanted to make sure, where's your tail? Where's that big old long tail? There it is. Yeah, yeah. You're a little concerned, mama? Okay, so I want this long enough so it covers its back end. Okay, right about there. Okay, right there. So we'll get this and hopefully you can see this and I'll go right to there. There we go. Yeah, it's a little discomfort. Well, maybe that should have been a little longer, a little shorter tail. Let me. Yeah, it's making it jump around a little bit. They say to wait. Hey there, come here. Come here. Yeah, come here. They say to wait a day or two to let mama and baby bond before you. <laughs> Add the distraction of the the tail, but anyhow, I wonder if I shouldn't try to move it up a little further. Let me see if I can do that. Come here, Lammy. Come here, Lammy. Let's see if we can move that up a little, okay? Can we see? Let's just see if we can. It may not be. I may have, you know, may have learned the hard way here, but. Um, yeah, that's going to be tough. That's yeah, going to be tough. Okay. We'll, we'll live with that. We'll live with that. Alrighty. You guys have a good day. I was talking to the sheep, but you guys too have a good day. And I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching. Blessings. Bye. Yeah, Lammy. You a good Lammy. You a good mama. Yes, you a good mama. Yeah. Good mama.